Chicago. Gunshot. When I got here, I found this man with a noose around his neck. Let's take him to the freight bag. Oh. Bring the poor chap in, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Take him in here, boys. Quick. Mr. Andrews, I... What's happened? Why are you wearing Martin Andrews' clothes? Self-defense, my dear. By the way, you know your friend, Grogan, tried to strangle me. Why do you call him my friend? Why not? You obviously went out of your way to make him one. Would you mind waiting here until I return? I know. Can't you wake him? Only an expert psychiatrist can do that. Was he all right when he came on board? He was all right only a short while ago. I spoke to him. Say, the one who hypnotized him must be on this ship. Will you get me a passenger list, please? Certainly, miss. I believe you presented what I implied about you and Grogan. Of course I resented it. Why shouldn't I? Very well. Prove that I was wrong and I'd be glad to apologize. What do you want me to do? Deliver this letter to Grogan. Read it if you like.
Hurry, change cabins with me, quick. What happened to you, Lieutenant? Oh, thank you. I don't see a name that suggests an enemy. We should look for a man about Mr. Andrews' height. Well built. I imagine he'd have peculiar glistening eyes. Have you seen anyone like that? About a dozen men on board would answer that description, miss. After they hit the bar, all their eyes glisten. Anything further, miss? Nothing for the present. What am I doing in these clothes? Oh, gee, Marty. Oh, take it easy, miss. What's it all about? Remember, I was taking my pajamas out of my bag. All of a sudden, I had a numbing sensation. I came to and... Here we are. Strange idea. Can't understand it. Let's get on deck. I need some air. I don't feel safe in 
my cabin. I don't feel safe anywhere on the boat. Nonsense. It'll make you feel any easier. You may have my cabin. Thanks, sir. I feel a lot easier. You'll be perfectly safe in here. I'll drop in again before midnight. You believe you're going to be shoved off at midnight. Why don't you come clean? Tell us the name of the man who's behind these disturbances in Chinatown. Who is this man you're afraid of? I haven't got anything against you, Andrews. But I'm not going to talk. I'm going to tell you everything. The man that's back of all of this. He's trying to wipe out the Occidental and the Oriental race. He's trying to start a new race of his own. And that man's name is... <laughs> 